On today's show, Drew is back from vacation. Yay! Yay! Plus, Valerie <laughs> Riley is here to show us the proper way to pack for a trip. I wish I was here before that. Knew all that good stuff. <laughs> and the Indigos will be performing on our live, st live stage in Oklahoma Live. From our studios in Oklahoma City, this is KSBI's Telly Award winning Oklahoma Live. Here are your hosts, Abby Broyles and Drew Schroeder. Oklahoma Live starts now. Hey everyone and welcome to Oklahoma Live. Drew is back. All is normal again. First day back and I can't even talk. Not it's surprising okay. though. You lost your words, but it's okay. I lose my words every day around it here. It was exhausting having to come out from underneath that thing. That I was... know. I was like, I hope we can get up from that. <laughs> it was one of those trips that was kind of tiring, but really fun. Yeah, that's awesome. You know, awesome. you come back from your vacation and you're more exhausted than before. Yeah. That's how you know it's a good vacation. Good. I'm glad you had a good time Yeah, now. it was a lot of fun. Colorado, oh yeah. my gosh, what a great place. Yeah. Tons of Okies in Colorado too. And you know, my theory is you always see someone in an OU at, mm -hmm. saw many people I know, from that, Oklahoma there. I'm the same way. When I go on vacation, I always run into somebody I know. Yeah, it's really weird, and I did yeah. too. And you could, yeah, it was it was fun. At like Red Rocks Amphitheater, I ran into somebody. Uh -huh. Ran into somebody whitewater rafting. Wow. So yeah, it was kind of crazy that people that you keep that's bumping awesome. into in Oklahoma from Oklahoma there in Colorado. But yeah. It's a great state. It really that's, is a lot awesome. of fun. Glad you had a good time. Yeah. Well, I'm glad Welcome I'm back, back too because we got a lot of fun stuff to talk about today. That's right. Starting with Serge Ibaka. Have you guys <laughs> seen this on the web? It is a little risque. He's yeah. on the cover of ESPN's The Body Magazine. There he is, y'all. Whew, that is six feet, <laughs> ten inches of Serge Ibaka. Okay, I'll calm down. Are you okay? Are you doing okay right. now? We, yeah, we'll, we'll just show the Serge Ibaka picture. Yeah. You yeah. can call for it anytime you want today, oh, by the okay, way. Okay, Serge, there he is. <laughs> wow. Yeah. That guy is ripped. And he you've is probably seen ripped. pictures yeah. of him online before. Uh, just with his shirt off, I mean, he's got some pretty famous abs right now. He does. And you know what? Um, the, the, this magazine issue highlights just, I mean, like healthy living, mm -hmm. healthy bodies. Athletes really do some amazing training to get into the kind of shape they're in, of course. And so, you know, it kind of highlights that. They have Michael Phelps, all kinds of other yeah. athletes in there as well. Venus Williams is on there. Marshawn Lynch, uh, uh -huh. the running back from the Seattle Seahawks, is on there. So yeah. they do it every year. They, they're risque, but they're supposed to be art. It's, it's more artsy pictures showing the body, yeah. the form of the body. Yeah, exactly. Or if you're someone who's just really into that, like Abby, you just go, Serge, and it pops right. up. <laughs> <laughs> Michael is going to be on his toes today. I know, I know, for that's Serge hilarious. I, it's not my Serge pick. It's just of all the times that, you know, I'm the only girl who works here, basically. Yeah. Besides, you know, our lovely intern, Caroline. But it's like, it's, it's all guys around here. And so it's yeah. just so funny because there's usually girl bikini pictures of some sort with some pageant we're there showing. Are not. We never yes, show. We only do. if yes, they are do. really in the context of a story. And maybe, but I'm just saying, if I get my Serge, Serge. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Oh, it's a, it's a, you know, it's a fun day. This is gonna be fun. This yeah, is gonna be a lot it's of fun. It's gonna be awesome. Well, you know what also is fun is going to a baseball game. Yeah. Everybody loves going and checking out some baseball. Yeah. Well, there was a fan at a Yankees game over the weekend, mm -hmm. and he is so mad at ESPN and Major League Baseball, he's actually suing for ten million dollars huh. because they showed him during the game, during the telecast, sleeping, and they made fun of him. So awesome. the clip is still on MajorLeagueBaseball.com, and here it is. Here's what he's suing for. <laughs> The number one live streaming sports service, celebrating 12 years. This this guy's oblivious to how good it is. Join the millions of subscribers, maybe even this guy. Watch every out of market game live in true HD on over 400 devices. Visit MLB.tv for details. Sometimes you have to turn it off. <laughs> that's awesome. He just had one too many beers, that's all. He is so mad that they showed him sleeping at the game, even though he's in a public place during a baseball game that he's suing for $10 million. That's crazy. I, I love that MLB is like, I don't care. They don't care, yeah, because yeah. it's still on their website today. They can that's care awesome. less, like, yeah, whatever, try. That's not so going to happen. It's not going to work out. I mean, for showing him sleeping, that's ridiculous. By the way, that was the fourth inning. Then they were playing their arch rival, the Boston Red Sox. How are you passed out? Okay, let's just say it's not sleeping right. unless you're in a bed. That is passed out at a baseball that is game. Passed out by okay. the fourth inning. Maybe he like worked, you know, the graveyard shift, and then he had a few beers when he got off, had a few more when he got to the, yeah. the field, and then he just passed out. That's what it was. Yeah. 
<laughs> he worked the graveyard shift. By the way, those tickets, I mean, if you go to a Yankees game, you're yeah. talking over $100. Those are expensive tickets. Yeah, the guy paid a bunch to sit there in that seat. That's right. Uh, Oklahoma City Zoo, you know, uh -huh. they had a rhino that was born, a baby rhino on June 21st. They need help naming the rhino. They want our help. There you go. There's the sweet little baby rhino. Aww. Now, we helped name Maylee a few years ago. She was the baby elephant. Now they want our help to name the rhino. And it's a male Indian rhino. And here are the top names yeah. that they have. They have three names that you can vote on. Rupert, which is a twist on the currency of India, the rupee. Russell for our friend Russell Westbrook of the Oklahoma City Thunder. And Garhan, the Hindi word for thunder. So yeah. we've got two thunder names in the running. What do you like? I like Russell. I'm going I with Russell. Russell too. You know, yeah, I do too. If you have to explain a name, then it's too complicated. So let's oh, yeah. just go with Russell. Russell, it is. And I think it's great. You can never leave. Russell Westbrook will never be able to leave Oklahoma City because yeah. he has a rhino named after him. I know. Do you think that Kevin's a little jealous? Maybe. I don't know. Is there no. is there a Kevin somewhere there? There's not a Kevin anywhere. Maybe There's no next, KD. Well, I don't know. Maybe they're just big fans. Rhinos are Maybe. big fans of Russell Westbrook. They're, I've heard that before. That's, yeah, you've heard that before. <laughs> yes, is yes. that something that's on the street? <laughs> We're on the told street. Me, yeah, they whisper in my ear when I walk by the rhino yeah. cage. Oh my gosh. <laughs> We're big that's, fans. <laughs> We're big fans. You know. Hey, Oklahoma City Zoo or OKCZoo.com is where you can vote, by yeah, the way. Go check so, that out. And you have until awesome. uh, you have until June for June twenty first, July fourteenth is when they I'll make the announcement. Oh, okay. And they'll cool. put the picture up there and, you know, put the name and everything. Woohoo! That's okay. awesome. This that's has awesome. had a lot of debate in our studios yes. today. Mm -hmm. This list, and it is from DailyMail.com. It's a big survey that they did, and it's the ages where it's inappropriate to do certain things. Okay. And we have been debating back and forth in some of these. Yeah. Because some of these are kind of ridiculous. So oh, I agree. So, using emoticons, you know, those little, like, mm -hmm. smiley faces, frowny faces and everything in your texts. Uh, 26 is the cutoff age. You're not allowed to do it after the age of 26. You know that I don't know how to do it. I don't either. I don't either. So I think that's that's safe. I think safe. we're safe. People we're who okay. get over the age of 26 don't know how to do it. Yeah. That's or don't hilarious. know what they mean. I, I'm not 26. I don't know how to do it. I, I like this one. Wearing a speedo at the beach. 26. 26 yeah, is the last time you can wear a speedo at the beach. And sometimes a little before then, if you you know gain like the freshman 150 or something like that. Have you ever noticed that it's people above the age of 26 that are wearing the speedos? Yes, that's always. the problem. Well, maybe uh -huh. that's why they're making this rule. Yeah, I, I totally agree. Wearing a mini skirt, 27. That's too young. That makes no sense. I'm wearing my mini skirt until someone tells me that it's way too inappropriate at work. I, I mean, 27? <laughs> can you really? That is way too young. Think of all the big celebrities that wear mini skirts and I we know, all just idle over them. Look, what I know. What if, like, like, I mean, what if your legs are your thing, you know? Yeah, yeah. And you got to cut it off at 26? Me, that's yeah. not fair to anybody, really, yeah. to be honest. No, Guys or girls. Whoa. The mini skirt on <laughs> no, the guy? No, well, we don't want to wear them. We just want to look. Oh, okay. I was like, Duh. this is my kilt? What? I mean, come on. You get That's to go funny. search, and the picture comes up. So, uh -huh. see? There, there he is. <laughs> okay. Uh, can wear here's one more. You cannot use acronyms like LOL in your text after the age of 29. Okay. And getting a new tattoo cut off at the age of 31. Yeah, a new tattoo, yeah. Yeah, you think so? Uh, and then one more, wearing a bikini, 48. Of all of them, 48 for a bikini. That's I was surprised old. by that. I mean, I'm saying after a couple of kids, I might be wearing like the onesie. Well, I just I thought it would be younger, actually. Yeah. <laughs> than, than 48. Yeah, no, Usually I agree the cutoff is like 30. Yeah, uh, no, you can wear a bikini into your 30s. I, I, I'm okay with it. I'm just saying that usually on a list like this, 30 huh. is the cutoff. I like this, dancing at a nightclub, 37. I thought that ended <laughs> when you were like 25. For me, that ended when. <laughs> When I was like 21. The That's first awesome. and last time I went and got made fun of dancing at a nightclub. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I can only imagine having a body piercing 29. So at 30, do you have to take the body piercing out? Yeah, I kind okay. of agree with that. It's a little yeah, old to do body old. piercing. The tattoos and body piercing thing, I just think after a certain age, it's just not attractive anymore. I have a male friend of mine who just got his lip pierced at the age of 36. Oh, wow. Well, okay. Oh, believe me, we make fun. Oh, I, yeah, I, I'm should. surprised it's actually still in after a week. It oh may my not gosh. now that I'm back on vacation. That's we may hilarious. have teased him out of it. Here's one more I disagree with going to a music festival, 41. You were never too old to go to a music festival. I'm 39, and I was just at a music festival. Yeah. I am never cutting it off at that age. I've met I met some of the cutest, you know, older people at Mumford and Sons. You so see, we're the ones that can afford it. Well, coming up here next, the Riley <laughs> Group will show you the proper way to pack for your vacation. Of course, lots of summer vacations coming up. We'll talk to them next.
once were two sisters who were alike in almost every way. They each had a nice family, lived in a nice house, and had internet service, which they used to download music, shop, and stream videos. Everything was the same, except one of them had AT&T U-verse high-speed internet and only paid $14.95 per month. Uh, excuse me? She's only paying how much? Uh, <clears throat> $14.95 per month. And now with even faster internet for the same great price. Oh, oh. <laughs> and it's really reliable. We like it more than our old cable internet. Plus, with U-verse high-speed internet, they can connect their Wi-Fi devices to their Wi-Fi gateway and save on mobile data usage at home. Okay, well, we're switching to AT&T, so everything is the same. Well, almost. <laughs> <clears throat> but then she also got AT&T U-verse high-speed internet, and everyone was happy. Get high-speed internet, just $14.95 a month for 12 months with qualifying service and a one-year price guarantee. Call an AT&T expert and switch today. You've always been a hard worker. You've always paid your Social Security. But now you can't work because of an injury, illness, or disease. You can receive disability benefits for conditions such as cancer, depression, spinal injury, diabetes, and more, regardless of your age. I'm John Colbert. If you've been denied disability benefits, call me. Get Colbert. Get it done. 1-800-237-7200. So, you want to buy a Serta instead of counting sheep, huh? Well, you'll have to cross this line to do it. Whoa, uh, how about this one? I see you're in a buying mood. Get a hot buy on a Serta pillow top with gel as low as $3.99. Visit a retailer today. Love, adore, crave. Color Elixir, the first creamy lip lacquer from Maybelline, New York. Intense color, mesmerizing shine, a cushiony feel. Everything lips love in just one sweet color elixir. Maybe it's Maybelline. Weekdays, Wendy's Hot Topics are full of less. We take our hot topics serious here. Full of drama. I'll tell it one more time for you, and I'll make it good. And the hottest celebrity news. Grab your tea. We've got a lot to talk about. Weekdays at 5 on My KSBI. Look who's delivering the laughs on the King of Queens. I'm going to keep it loose and fun. <laughs> Weeknights at 10. Welcome back to Oklahoma Live. Well, around here, sometimes we don't always agree on everything, and we have a special way of settling things. We do, yeah, and we've taken some of the Minute to Win It games, mm -hmm. and we've decided to take on two of our crew members, uh, Jack and Adrian, who mm -hmm. we usually disagree with the most. Right, exactly. You know, and yeah. we all think that we're the best at everything. Well, uh -huh. we decided to put it to the test. This is Abby and Drew against the crew. The distance record for throwing a playing card is just over 216 feet. In this challenge, the contestant must throw them for accuracy as they attempt to stick a card into half a watermelon. This must be done once. You know the rules? You have one minute. Okay, 60 seconds. Okay. And you gotta stick one of those cards in the watermelon. Okay. By just throwing it. Yes. Okay. Abby, do you have any sort of technique you're gonna do? I'm gonna wind up. Yeah, okay. Are we going? All right, ready? I play okay. frisbee golf. Set. I play frisbee okay. golf. Go. Go. Why can't you even get it too well, hard, Ellen? Why are you using two at a time? Because I need, I need strength. Oh, I can't get serious? close. Are you serious? Okay. <laughs> that one's back 30 seconds. At 30 you. seconds. You throw cards like a girl. <laughs> oh, Ten. I hit the, I hit the watermelon. Go. You go. Okay, I got one left. You got to keep throwing. Five, Five gonna be the winner. four, three, two, one. Yeah! We did it! 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 Alright, let's bring on the challengers. Let's go. What? Come on! What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Yeah, come on! Let's see what's... what you can do! Okay, we got it here. Okay, go ahead. Here. Okay. Alright, ready, set, go. Oh! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hit me! Don't hit me! Come on, hit me! Oh, oh. you throw worse than hey. Abby does! Hey. Oh, <laughs> Three seconds left. Wait a second. Wait a second. 
Did you know that you could throw more than a deck of cards? I didn't know that. I didn't know that either. I was inspired. Oh, wow. We have a win for the crew. We have the winner. They have won the crew. Nice. It, okay, so we can all agree that we didn't know the rules beforehand because yeah. they used more than one deck. And that they cheated. I think they we did. can all agree that they cheated. I think so. <laughs> I think so. So you got to keep watching because this is how we're going to settle our disputes now. Yeah. And we've got all kinds of these games lined up. and It is going to be a blast. Mm -hmm. And anytime there's a, some sort of disagreement, we're going to take on uh, Adrian and Jack and we're going to see who can win. That's right. It's gonna be fun. That one was ridiculous, oh my though. Gosh, that was hilarious. <laughs> Glad we just have watermelon lying around. I know, right? <laughs> and cards. I was like, man, we have cards. Yeah, All right, exactly. Perfect. Hey, well, Valerie Riley is bringing us organizational tips and ideas. She brings them every time she comes, but this time it's how to pack for a vacation. Yes. Welcome back. It's vacation time. Yeah. Everybody is going on vacation. All of our clients are asking us, help us pack for vacation. I so, wish I would have talked to you before yeah. I left because I our know. car was an absolute mess when <laughs> we got back. It's hard to. I, yeah. It is, and we always overpack. I think people just think you're going to need more than you ever do. Yeah. And then every time you get there, you're like, I didn't wear half of the stuff I brought. Yeah. yeah. So you're we're trying right. to help our clients perfectly. That problem. So, okay. what are some of the steps that we need to do? What, what is one thing that uh, that you always tell people? Um, one thing I tell women, especially, is stick with a single color combo. Like, don't try to bring every color in your closet, so you don't have to accessorize for every color. Pick a black, stay with black, and then use alternate colors to kind of make that pop. And then you don't have to bring brown, black, tan shoes. You just bring black shoes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that makes it easier. Is it okay. okay to wear something two days on vacation? I think so. I, okay, see, there you go. She says it's okay <laughs> to, to she double said it up. Two. Yeah, no more. <laughs> uh, really? Four, well, it depends two? on what part that you're wearing two days in okay, a row. Okay, okay. Outer clothes, yes, probably so. Yeah, yeah see, you there you jeans go. Jeans for, you know, oh, yeah, times. you can for sure wear jeans. And I mean, it depends. If you're going to the beach, you're probably going to be in bathing suits anyway. Mm -hmm. So, cover ups, you can wear multiple days in a row. Um, they make tons of wrinkle free items now that you can roll up in your suitcase to save space. You can also use those vacuum bags where you suck the air out. It makes the I mean, it goes like this tiny from a pat, you know, yeah. size like this. So makes a big difference, especially when you're paying to check in your bag. Right, exactly. And this yeah. way you can almost get it all in a carry-on. You don't have to check a bag. Ooh, I like that. Oh, yeah. That's great. How about um, things like jewelry and stuff like that, stuff that might kind of jumble around in your bag? Right. I use just regular sandwich bags and put necklaces in individual sandwich bags. That way they don't get jumbled up. Same with earrings or rings. Whatever you don't want to get tangled, just put in individual sandwich bags. Okay. And here's something we ran into, going to a place that sometimes it's cold at night, but mm -hmm. you know, it's warm during the day. How do you pack for both? Where, where you're trying to, especially warm weather clothes or things that are going to keep you warm, they take up a lot of space. They do. And so I think you just bring a couple of things. That goes back to wearing something more than once. For women, bring cardigans. For guys, just bring like a sweatshirt that you can zip up. That way you can throw it on at night, but it's easy. It doesn't wrinkle. So it's easy to put in your bag that way. Okay. Okay. Perfect. What else, um, as far as you know, maybe going to like a, a place where you maybe you don't expect the weather to be just what you're thinking or something like that? Are there things that we should always pack? Like, do you always pack a raincoat? Do you always pack hats? I don't always pack those things. I would say check ahead. I would check mm -hmm. the weather for sure the day before you leave to make sure if it's going to change, you're ready for it. But I always bring a cardigan with me. I always bring a couple pairs of socks and tennis shoes. That way, if it is cold, you have kind of an alternate thing you can wear. Okay, yeah. perfect. No, there's nothing worse than not having tennis shoes when you yeah, get them true. on a trip. Right. So what are or some of the other underwear. big tips that you try to give everybody when they're packing? Um, I think if you don't decide to d take a carry-on bag and you want to check a bag, I think in your carry-on you should always have all your medicines with you, any extra toiletries just in case your bag gets lost. Um, underwear, you should have a couple pairs in there just in yeah. case because if your bag gets lost, there's nothing worse than being stuck without that stuff. Yeah. So I just say pack the essentials in your carry-on and that way you're never stuck without what you need. That's a good idea because yeah. you don't think your bag is going to get lost, but it happens, right. it happens a lot. It's happened to me like three or four times. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. yeah. But again, you're the most organized person I know, so I'm sure you were just <laughs> fine. Yes, I was fine, but I still panicked. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. So. Well, where can people find more information about you and what you do? Um, we have a website. It's therileygroup.info. Okay, perfect. Check it out. Yeah. I need you to help me pack for my honeymoon. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Fun. All right. Thanks, Valerie. Thank, Thank you, you very you. much. Well, coming up here next, time to head on a cruise with Oklahoma River Cruises. We'll tell you all about it next.
Do I have to go to the tailings? Yes. It's like a living history museum. They only use candles, and they probably make their own clothes. Paul, well, that's not true. Well, they don't have Cox High Speed Internet, Contour, or Cox Digital Telephone. They shun technology. You don't know that. Oh, and we shouldn't check our Cox Home Security app in front of them. They'll think we're warlocks. Hannah, you ready to hear someone play the loot? Get a Cox bundle with the fastest in-home Wi-Fi starting at $79.99 a month with free pro install, including Wi-Fi setup and support. Ah, see that smoke signal? That's an email. What are they saying? Probably laughing out loud. Switch today. Prices start at $79.99 a month. Add Cox Home Security and get installed for as low as $49. So they have discovered fire. Get the Cox bundle starting at $79.99 a month with free pro install, including Wi Fi setup and support. Add Cox Home Security and get installed for as low as $49. Call Cox today to get the fastest in home Wi Fi. The attraction. This week on Life Today, Kelly McGuark looked for acceptance among people in the drug culture at the age of 15. Six years later, she was imprisoned as a result of multiple felonies. The emptiness that I felt is indescribable. I mean, I would go to sleep and just wish that I didn't wake up. Join us for a powerful story of redemption and freedom. KSBI is bringing wild card auditions to the Penn Square Mall Center Court July 19th from noon to 5 p.m. The Ace of Spades. We're looking for people who'd like to win a shopping spree to Bob Mills Furniture or dinner at Charleston's, Pearl's, or a lot of other great prizes. Be part of KSBI's fast paced game show, Wild Cards. is an instant winner. Watch Wild Card weeknights at 6 30 and midnight only on My KSBI. And come to the contestant auditions at Penn Square Mall July 19th. Welcome back. Well, there's plenty to do on Oklahoma Waterways. Here to talk about Oklahoma River Cruises is Shay Losberg. Welcome back. Hi. This is such a fun time. Summertime out on the water. Yeah. It is. Well, there's a lot going on down at the river. We have uh, recently opened our new Bricktown Landing, which has allowed us to do some fun things partnering with vendors down in the Bricktown area. Our newest cruise is Put a Cork in the River. This is a wine tasting and education cruise. We've partnered with Put a Cork in It Winery. That's the great fun, place. fun right. little name. Yes, it's a great place. I is. love the folks down there. We will have a two hour cruise. This is a little longer than our typical specialty cruise. And during this cruise, there will be a wine tasting, a bit of wine education, featuring some of the wines from Put a Cork in It Winery. Then uh, your ticket also covers two complimentary glasses of wine. You've got uh, fruits and cheeses and just the cruise itself in addition to all that. Wow. So oh, if you love wine and you love local, this is a great cruise. It sounds yeah, like fantastic. it. Well, where is this Bricktown Landing and what does it mean for you guys? Well, this is, uh, it's opened a Pandora's box of fun and crazy and hysterical moments for us. Yeah. Where, you know, logistic wise, we, we, want, we want to do everything right now, but you know, we have to take baby steps. But we now can bring guests from the Meridian Landing all the way up to the the Bricktown Landing, where they can connect with the river taxis and go in on into Bricktown. Really? Oh, so you can yeah. go from that to the canal and get on those canal taxis? Absolutely. And this new landing is right below the Land Run Monument. Okay. If you've been down there, uh -huh. or if you're a Bass Pro Shop kind of lover, there we're located pretty much the south end of their parking lot. So tons of free parking down there. You get to see the Land Run Monuments and. Then hop on a river cruise or you know get on the water taxis and you can kind of span the whole city on a waterway. It's so pretty those, really yeah, amazing. Awesome. Those are the big statues behind Bass Pro that have kind the of been sitting one. out there by themselves for a while. Yeah. So now it's finally all getting connected. Now it's got yes. an audience and a little spotlight. So oh good. We're really excited about it. Fantastic. That's awesome. It's great that all that's connected. You can make like a whole evening out of it now. Absolutely. Well that yeah. coupled with you know, well, I saw a picture a second ago uh -huh. of uh, uh, boat houses have the mm -hmm. yeah. adventure sports there too. There's, it's it's a, it's really an amazing place. The district mm -hmm. is growing it by is. leaps and bounds. So, yeah. and we even have uh, we've added a few cruises. We'll have uh, Edgar Cruz is coming on. He'll okay. cruise with us August seventh. Those tickets always go so fast though, so please go online and get your tickets as soon as you can. Um, there's still a few seats left for this month for Disco mm -hmm. also. 
And I'm trying to remember all my goodies. Next month is Luau, so oh, if you guys nice. want to come okay. do the Don Ho party yeah. <laughs> kind of stuff, we've got that going on. Yeah. And then another one that I'm really excited about is our Sunset Live with uh, the ACM at UCO students. Oh, great. And this awesome. month we have the Indigos. They'll play dockside for about 45 minutes before the guests get on the boat and cruise and enjoy the relaxing sunset cruise. Oh, wow. Okay. And of course, so. we're watching the Indigos music video right now. So you've teamed up with ACM at UCO, and so you're going to be bringing some of these amazing musicians on to perform, huh? Absolutely. We had a, a couple come out and sing last week, and of course, this group, the Indigos, when I watched their video the other day, all the girls in the office, we came around and we had to watch it again. Oh. We just thought, They're just so great. This is an amazing way to. To, to pair up and coming musicians with a, an, an attraction in the city. So yeah. we're really excited about it. Wonderful. Where can folks go to book their cruises? OKRiverCruises.com okay, or you can call us on the phone. We'll help you book. Okay. Easy right. enough. Yeah. Thanks so much, Shay. Thank you. Bet you. All you guys appreciate well, it. Well, speaking of those indigos, yeah. you know, they're here and they're going to be performing on our live stage. We'll show you next. In today's economy, we are all trying to find ways to save money without having to give up some of the things that we love. Brian Bluvis is here to tell us how to save money by switching to Dish Network. Well, traditionally, people would have to pay an additional amount for their high-definition channels. And Dish Network is the industry leader in HD programming, so we're able to pass some savings down to the customer by offering more HD channels than any other provider free not just for a couple of months or a year, but free for 24 months. Wow, getting HD channels free certainly saves you money. So what are some of the other benefits? Well, the remote is really easy to use and includes parental controls so you can monitor what your children are watching. And then there's also the DVR. In addition to the normal DVR, which allows you to pause, rewind, and record TV, Dish Network now has a multi-room DVR that allows you to record a program on one TV and watch it on another in any room of the house. Well, the technology is great. So what do you have to pay per month for Dish Network service? Well, Dish Network now has popular packages with all of your favorite channels, including locals, starting as low as $19.99 per month. And you get to lock in that price for an entire year. And if you call now, you'll receive all HBO, Cinemax, Showtime, and Stars channels free for three months and receive the activation and installation free. I understand that you have something special for our viewers at home today. That's right, we do. The next 20 people that call us and order Dish Network service are going to receive a $50 Visa gift card that can be spent anywhere. And this is exclusive for phone orders only. So call 1-888-960-3167. It's really easy to set up over the phone, and we're usually able to do same-day or next-day installations. And this is a limited-time offer, so please call now. Call 1-888-960-3167. That's 1-888-960-3167. Nestled in the mountains of northwest Arkansas, minutes from Eureka Springs is Spider Creek Resort. Secluded on 50 acres, our cabins from studios to three bedrooms all have fully equipped kitchens and outdoor grills. Spider Creek is a home away from home for families, fishermen, and groups of all sizes. Enjoy hiking. Float the crystal clear waters of the white or fish for trout. Our full service fly shop will address all your equipment, food, and beverage needs. Spider Creek Resort, your home in the mountains. On the next Access Hollywood, more from Columbus Short. What he's never revealed about being fired from his dream job. First of all, let's talk about ABC and let's talk about the show Scandal. Next Access Hollywood. Tonight at 6 on My KSVI. FBI files tonight at nine. Welcome back. Well, there is a lady in Washington doing something kind of interesting. She's eating pet food for an entire month, cat and dog food yeah. for 30 days. This is well interesting. Her name yeah. is Dorothy Hunter, <laughs> yeah. and she has a pet food store called Paws Natural Pet Emporium. It's okay. in Washington, yeah. and so she wants to show that pet food is healthy. And mm -hmm. that people can eat it too because it's good enough for humans. So yeah. she is eating dog and cat food for 30 days. And so we decided we'd try it. We'll try it. I'm not doing this for 30 days, but maybe, 
maybe for this one segment. These are samples that Pat Becker, host of Dog Talk right. on Saturday mornings, has. These are fruitables. I, this is pumpkin and apple flavor, and I gave you what? Apple bacon flavor. It says okay. it's made with real bacon. It smells it like smells it. It smells awful. This one smells good. Why am I trying this? It smells like fall in a bag. Oh, God, that does smell good. It's like smell autumn. mine. Oh, that smells awful. I too. know, right? It's because it's made for dogs. Okay. Well, we just made fun of that lady. Why are we going to try it? Oh, you put the whole thing in your mouth. I was just going to take a nibble. This isn't bad. Oh, God. <laughs> what is this lady talking about? <laughs> this is for dogs. Dude, I'm, I'm serious. I kind of like it. What? Pumpkin and apple. Oh, here, have that too. <laughs> Dorothy, you're crazy. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, God, water's not going to cut it. I need vodka. <laughs> <laughs> that is awful. Okay, well. Maybe she's eating something different. The aftertaste is kind of getting to me now. <laughs> that was such a stupid idea. <laughs> what the heck were we thinking? We did say dog food. I mean, it said that they had nice. Dorothy, I thought, could do it. We could do one. Dorothy, that's a bad idea. Dorothy's going to starve for 30 days. Let's so, talk about fireworks. Okay. So, of course, Fourth of July was over the weekend. Uh, and have you ever wondered what it would be like if a fireworks stand caught fire? I yes. have. Who, I think, who hasn't? Well, we have video now. This happened in Tennessee on Sunday. And, yes, a fireworks stand caught fire. Take a look. Wow. Here they are videotaping it. You could see the fireworks shooting out of this thing towards the highway. And now oh the video is a little shaky, but, you know, hey, that's what you get when there's a fireworks stand on fire. The uh, fire department finally got there, and they just called it a complete loss. They couldn't do anything, and they just had to let all the fireworks go off and die down. But, wow. yeah, that is what happens when a big fireworks stand How did catches it catch fire. fire? I have know? no idea. That's crazy. Uh, yeah, I and know. And it's kind of scary, too, because it was actually it was close to a gas station yeah, there. Yeah, they had to shut down the highway and everything for that. That is nuts. Oh, my gosh. But there you go. Now we there can watch go. the video of something like that. That's happening. right. I wonder if, I mean, I'd almost think that would be kind of like, I'd be kind of afraid if I owned a fireworks stand, mm -hmm. if somebody would come and set it on fire just to be funny. To see what happens yeah. and then the videotape it? Well, yeah. they're going to have to wait till next year. I Fourth know. of July is I, over. I think it is cracked the case, y'all. <laughs> they're all shut down. I got it. <laughs> it's time to throw it over to the live stage now for a performance. By the Indigos. Take it away, guys.
sweet dreams just leave your worries behind you and while in your dreams whatever you dream dream a little dream of me chat with us. How great to have them on a cruise. I know. The River. I think that's fantastic. And Amber and Carson are both here. Hi, guys. Hey. Welcome hey, back. Welcome so, back. Uh, you guys want some dog food? You know, I'll try it. I'm um, good. Here you go. <laughs> Just wait till after the interview. Trust me. It's, okay. Yeah, you'll want to like chase it with Maybe something. Maybe you, you should do the apple one. Yeah, they're yeah. apple and bacon. There you go. You can have apple and bacon. But and trust oh, me, they're, wait. They're skinny mini. So, they're, <laughs> they're, they're heart healthy and good for your diet. We've got a box of those if you want some more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, we saw your video. I mean, congrats to getting all that Thank all you. done. Thank How you did so that much. come about? Um, well, we when we went to California for tour last summer, we were like, when we came home, we were like, well, let's record an album. Yeah. Why not? Well, sure, why not? And exactly. So we were sitting at a park under a tree, just kind of writing stuff, and yeah. we wrote the other side. And as it progressed, we were like, well, let's do a video. And it's just kind of like at the fly, we're just. Let's do it. Let's just do it. And you did. And we did it. And so is it easier? Do you get to use all the equipment at ACM at UCO and do that stuff? Uh, we can. Yeah. yeah we can. <laughs> but you didn't have to. No, well, we improvised and kind of found our own little way. I love that it was under a tree. I know. <laughs> we were sitting under a tree and the vision came to us. <laughs> that's awesome. That's how all good ideas come about. You also have a new uh, CD that's just been released and you have a release party. Tell us about that. Yes, we had a release party in Oklahoma at the Twisted Root May 31st and now we are going to LA and we are having a release party August 1st at the Muse on 8th. So if anyone's in California, yeah, you know, of course we'll be there. Kind of party. We've got some celebrity guests. We've got the guy from Mean Girls. He'll be there, and we've got a few other people I can't think of at the top of my head. Wow! But we're really, really excited, and we're also doing another release party in Houston. Uh, December 18th, yeah, I believe. 18th. Okay, okay, we'll just awesome. travel with you. Okay? Yeah, yeah. yeah, we'll just be your groupies. Yeah, you know, no big all. deal. We'll provide the dog food and everything for good, good, good. Yeah. Well, anyway. thank you guys so much. Thanks, and of course, guys. you want to see them on the river cruise, you can go yes. check them out there as well. Mm -hmm. Nice work. Thanks for coming yeah, in thank again. Thank you so much yeah. for good having Good job us again. on the video, too. Thank well, coming you. up here next, we're going to talk about the farmer's market, and the folks are here from OSU at OKC. We'll tell you all about it next. More home, less money, happy clients? You bet. Very satisfied. I, I loved every bit of it. We had a lot of fun together building this house together. Your home's in your hands. You build it. We get it. You're busy. Work, kids, life. And you need a car to get everyone everywhere they need to go. The last thing you need is to come to a dealership and fill out paperwork. And what about explaining your bad credit situation again and again? Now you don't have to. Just go to thekeyonline.com and complete your application from home. It usually takes about 15 minutes. Once approved, you can pick your vehicle from our online inventory and we'll have it waiting for you. The Key. Cars. Loans. Life. Furniture polishes are a nasty, greasy mess and over time attract dust like a magnet. Introducing an innovation in wood polish developed to honor the Amish heritage of fine craftsmanship. It's called Amish Secret, handmade right here in the USA to help bring wood back to life. Forget oily sprays. Amish Secret cleans layers of built-up wax, revealing a fresh, lasting shine without leaving a sticky, oily residue. The Secret is our formula, crafted using age-old practices. It cleans and protects in one easy step and cuts through tough grease on kitchen cabinets in seconds. Cherry, oak, maple, walnut, even painted wood shines bright again. This water ring has ruined the wax polish, but Amish Secret cleans and protects against future rings in one easy step. Using sprays on this banister will ruin these white gloves, but with Amish Secret, it's perfectly clean 
clean and shines with no residue. Amazing! Let's see what these shoppers had to say when we sprayed one half of this table with Amish Secret and the other half with the leading brand. Oh, oily and gross. <laughs> it looks so greasy, like it would collect a lot of dust. <laughs> Definitely this side. This side looks so much better. This stuff really works. Then we polished this entire tabletop with the leading brand and applied Amish Secret to the middle. Watch this. Even after dumping dirt and grime all over it, nothing sticks to Amish Secret. With this stuff, you're not going to have to dust anymore. No dust at all. This stuff is great. I'm getting this. Clean, polish, and restore with Amish Secret for just $10. We guarantee our handmade formula will nourish your wood and restore that fresh, clean shine. Or you get your money back. Call now and you can double the order. Get a second bottle with our Easy Flow Spout. It's perfect for larger areas like tables. But there's more. You can also get a set of our Amish Secret Furniture Repair Markers. Now instantly restore color to any scratched wood surface. You can get it all through this amazing TV-only offer for $10. Call now. To order, call 1-800-574-0812. But hurry, call now and get the old Amish special offer with all of today's orders. So call 1-800-574-0812. That's 1-800-574-0812. Call now. More home, less money, happy clients? You bet. Very satisfied. I, I loved every bit of it. We had a lot of fun together building this house together. Your home's in your hands. You build it. Allie Frobros from OSU at OKC is here to tell us about the farmer's market and everything that's being grown in Oklahoma. Oklahoma made, of course, and being there. Right. Yeah. Well, welcome to the show. Welcome. Well, thank you guys for having me. I appreciate you being here. It smells so yeah. good. It Whatever's smells... in your basket is amazing. <laughs> it's awesome. Well, thank you. Uh, I brought a little vast array of products from our farmer's market. We are an Oklahoma-grown market at OSU OKC uh, campus on 400 North Portland. Uh, we are open every Wednesday and Saturday from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. And what's really unique about our farmer's market is that all of our products are Oklahoma grown or made in Oklahoma by Oklahoma producers. And all of those producers are there at the market. So every day when you come, you get to meet your farmer or the person who made, uh, you know, the, the handmade arts and crafts, you know, really wonderful products. Like the, even this basket was made from one of our vendors wow. at the, wow, at the awesome. market. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. What are some of the big vegetables that are, you know, really growing this year in Oklahoma? Well, we have a little bit of anything and everything, but right now, we really have tomatoes coming in strong. Mm -hmm. We have sweet corn, amazing sweet corn is coming in right now. And we're starting to see some watermelons, some cantaloupes will be coming in August. So uh, as those vegetables are coming in season, they're really, uh, you know, Peak, pick, pick at the mm -hmm. patch, you know, yeah. peak prime uh, and wonderful. You, you guys need to come out and check it out. And uh, you've never had any kind of produce like this. If you've never shopped at a farmer's market before, mm -hmm. you won't get anything this kind of quality like you could at the grocery store. Well, and the biggest kind of restaurants right now are the farm-to-table restaurants. Mm -hmm. And you pay a lot of money, you know, for farm-to-table stuff. You could do it on your own. Absolutely. I, Absolutely. I'm surprised at a lot of stuff that's actually grown here that people don't know, like sweet corn. Mm -hmm. yeah. I had no idea. Yeah, welcome to Oklahoma. Now, now I know, now <laughs> I, I know. Why right? am I getting it from Illinois and Indiana? I, I can don't get know. here. What else do you have in your basket here? Oh, well, we have some tomatoes, some peaches, mm -hmm. uh, a little bit of squash. I've never tried eggplant before um, until I started working at the market. And yeah. now I'm addicted to eggplant, so I'll probably be making this for dinner. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And some, some acorn squash, uh, fresh garlic, onions. Uh, just this holiday, I had family come down from Ohio, and we used all produce from the market for our big 4th of July uh, cookout. So oh, that's yeah, great. that's yeah. awesome. And how late or, or how long do you all stay open? Yeah, very good question. We're open from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. Mm -hmm. With those hot summer hours here, it, yeah. it gets kind of crazy, but mm -hmm. we have really loyal customers that are here right at the door at 8 a.m. So definitely come out early and, and get your best picks. And, uh, but we're open all day, and we have anything from uh, homemade breads, we have gluten-free products, we have vegan products, uh, handmade soaps, uh, basically anything you can think of, we about have it, even milk yeah. and meat products. So. Is that a koala yeah. bear in there? Yeah, one, uh, of our, okay. one of our vendors, she, uh, she uh, donates all of the money that she receives at the farmer's market by selling her quilted and crocheted items. She donates those back to charity and is feeding the, the homeless with those funds. Oh, that so, is so great. It's definitely, it's not just a, a community center where you can get your food it, or, you know, 
or like a grocery store. Uh -huh. It's definitely a community center where uh, you can meet people in your community and help your community I as love well. it that, can, that awesome. you can actually talk to the people that grew it too. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for coming on. Well, thank you guys for having right. me. I really appreciate yeah. it. Real quick, one more time, your address? Uh, 400 North Portland, and it's right on the corner of Portland and Reno, and you guys should be able to see the signs. It's wonderful, very, yeah. very bright. Okay, awesome. we won't take Thanks your so eggplant. You can have that for tonight, <laughs> okay? For <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Sally. Coming up, I chat with celebrity chef Fabio Viviani. That's next on KSBI. If you've been denied your Social Security disability, don't take no for an answer. Get Colbert and get it done. 1-800-237-7200. Ingalls Shipbuilding is hiring electricians, structural welders, machinists, ship fitters, pipe fitters, and pipe welders in our Pascagoula, Mississippi site. Signing bonuses available for pipe welders only. Positions are union represented. Come build your career with Ingalls Shipbuilding. Go to www.huntingtonengles.com slash careers or call 888-935-1507. Does being over 40 make you feel like half the man you used to be? Introducing Ageless Male, a life-changing supplement for men. Test it to help increase testosterone levels. You'll notice a boost in your energy levels. Workouts work. Sex life improves. It's like a light switch goes on. Why not increase your testosterone? Get Ageless Mail now, risk-free. Call 1-800-729-1136. That's 1-800-729-1136. A lot of websites offer quick loans, but be careful, they're not all the same. SpeedyCash.com is a state-licensed direct lender you can trust for cash loans at the best rates. And with SpeedyCash.com, getting your cash is safe, quick, and easy. Often the money is in your account the same day. With years of experience, 300 stores, and a kangaroo as a mascot, SpeedyCash is the online cash loan company you can trust. <laughs> when you need cash fast, go to SpeedyCash.com. Love that Speedy Cash. I remember the moment. I'll never forget that moment. That moment? It was a moment that changed my life. I'd been training with my team for months, and now we had been called up for the first time. The real deal. Wildfires were getting dangerously close to home. At that moment, I got my first taste of just how important the Guard is to my community. See how the Guard can be an important part of your life at NationalGuard.com. Coming up on The Better Show. Grey's Anatomy star Sarah Drew talks about the big finale. Plus, the Beekman boys are in the kitchen making cheddar breakfast muffins. And Real Housewives Luann DeLessis is here. Join J.D. and Rebecca for Better tomorrow at 9 on My KSBI. Look who's delivering the laughs on the King of Queens. Weeknights at 10. It's time for weather with KSBI meteorologist Edward St. Pay. Thank you, Abby and Drew. Forecast update coming up. Let's take a look. High pressure will build in. Meanwhile, we still have that front sliding through, so scattered showers and storms tonight. Thunderstorms, gusty winds. Winds becoming northeasterly through the evening behind the front, the low near 70. As it clears out, for tomorrow, a few scattered showers, but partly sunny skies reemerging a high of 90 degrees. Then sunny skies for Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Edward St. Pay reporting. Welcome back to Oklahoma Live. You know him from Top Chef Fabio Viviani is here to give me some Italian cooking tips. Hey, Fabio. Abby, how are you? I'm good. I'm really excited. You're going to show me how to do some cooking today. Yes, uh, that's exactly why we're here. Summertime requires simple recipe, headache-free. That's why I love when I team up with the folks of Bertolli Olive Oil to showcase everybody how you can make something that packs tons of flavor in a very short amount of time. So here's what we did today, Abby. We have three dishes for you. The first dish is a tomato tart. Tomato tart is very simple. It looks like a million dollar, but it's very, very simple. You, all you need is a, a, a sheet of pre-made puff pastry. You put the cheese that you like on top. Could be goat cheese, could be mozzarella, parmesan, whatever you like. 
Sliced tomato, really thin, and season them with olive oil, extra virgin, herbs, and some spices. Bake everything in the oven, you know, hot oven, like 400 degrees for 10 minutes. The puff pastry is going to get nice and crunch. The tomato will cook, and the drizzle of extra virgin olive oil is going to add a ton of flavor to it. Then we're moving to the main course, the shrimp, mm -hmm. the start of the dish. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to have peeled shrimp. We're going to add salt. I just put a little piece of salt, a little bit of salt. We're going to put some garlic in it. We're going to put herbs. In this case, I have basil. I have some parsley. I have uh, rosemary, thyme, tarragon. And we're going to drizzle a touch of uh, uh, classical olive oil. Now, the reason why I like to add the olive oil to my marinade is because not only as you can see, the shrimp uh, stick to the herbs and the seasoning. Mm -hmm. But what's happening here is that the olive oil also enhance the flavor and amplify the aromas. Mm -hmm. Now, look how cute this is. That's very cute. I love that. Pretty. It's very Beautiful. pretty. So we have tomato. Put them on a skewer with shrimp alternating them. We cook them only a few minutes per side because shrimp is a very easy dish to cook, and depending on the side, it could be a minute less or more, and then we serve them like this, with a good drizzle of uh, uh, grilled citrus and uh, some fresh herb. A drizzle of extra virgin olive oil to finish the dish. Then, although it's really not up to an Italian guy teach anybody in America how to make a muffin, <laughs> I have my recipe, <laughs> it is true, isn't it? Right. I have my muffin recipe down and it's a very special one because it's going to feature extra light tasting olive oil instead of butter. Okay. So not only you cut back in calories because in proportion you're going to need less oil than butter mm -hmm. but as well you have a better healthier option because of the natural the nutrient in olive oil that you don't find in butter. Okay, so you're kind of getting the health sounds benefits like of it too. Sounds like a good meal to me. Sounds like a great meal to me. Say that again. It sounds like a great meal thank to me. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, what have you been up to thank since Top Chef? Thank you very much. It's easy. Yes, go ahead. Shoot away. I said, what have you been up to since Top Chef? Oh, what I've been up to? I thought you said let's talk about Top Chef. I was like, well, I lost the show twice. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, and what I. And what I have been up to is uh, just very busy creating the restaurant business. We just opened our, we're about to open our 10th location. And uh, we're very busy. We're very fortunate. We get great support from all the community we're in. And uh, I'm about to publish a new cookbook mm -hmm. coming out in October. Um, that's it. Everything is really, that sounds uh, pretty, pretty, pretty good. Yeah, that sounds awesome. We'll be looking for your cookbook. Fabio, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you, Abby. Say hi to Oklahoma for me, please. I sure will. Thanks so much. Thank right. you. Thank you very much. Thank you, honey. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Keep it here on KSPI. There's more ahead. Finally, a mascara you'll love. New Revlon Bold Lacquer Mascara with only high shined lac fibers for the ultimate lac bold definition with volume and length to the nth degree. Be bold, be brilliant. Revlon. Did you know Dove is the number one recommended body wash by dermatologists? Really? Only Dove blends our gentlest cleansers and richest moisturizers for softer, smoother skin. I can see a difference. For softer, smoother skin, try Dove. Want great green grass all year round with less mowing and practically no watering or fertilizing? Hi, Bob Vila here with a breakthrough in grass seed that can give you great green grass. It's called Grassology. Its roots extend four times deeper than ordinary grass to reach the good stuff that's underground, like water and nutrients. And the best part, Grassology reaches a dwarf height, so there's a lot less mowing. Guaranteed. We've all seen bare patches, bald spots, or brown spots caused by pets. Try Grassology. It naturally fights against disease, insects, even weeds. 
saving you time and money. Call or go online now and get one pound of Grassology for just $14.99. But if you call right now, you can double the order to two pounds. Plus, you can also get a 25-foot pocket hose ultra, Grassology, for $14.99. Call now. You'll be glad you did. Call 1-800-503-0671. And today you can get a special Grassology double offer and the pocket hose ultra. So call 1-800-503-0671. Call now. This July, things are heating up. Do you ever have a sweetheart? No. So watch the fireworks fly. I'll be back. This July. This TV, only on KSVI 52.2, Cox 215. You wake up in the morning. More like get woken up. Snooze alarm. Snooze. Snooze alarm. All right, let us be perfectly clear here. We hate mornings. Hate them. So when we crawl out of bed in the morning. We're doing it for you. For you. It's because you need to know what's going on. Check the web. Read the papers. What's happening with the weather? Twitter. Facebook. You don't have time for this. You're still half asleep. And need to get moving. Just turn on the Daily Buzz. The Daily Buzz. Weekdays at 5.30 a.m. on KSBI 52. Welcome back. We are giving away a whole bunch of cooking oils and wines. It's our giveaway courtesy of Fabio Viviani and Bertoli. As you saw, our last segment was uh, he was cooking for us and kind of showing us how to do all these great things mm -hmm. with Bertoli olive oils, all kinds of cooking products they have. So this whole thing, we're giving it away right now. Big prize. Yeah. To the third caller right now, just call us at 405-470-0993. Again, that's 405-470-0993. Good luck. Look third at caller. All that. Look at all that Look at stuff. stuff. Mario packed it up himself. Sent that's it right. here. Yeah. <laughs> or Fabio. <laughs> Fabio Mario. <laughs> Fabio. <Yeah. laughs> Fabio Viviani, honey. He cracked me up. That know, was right? great. He's, He's the guy. Great. I want him to come He's over and funny. cook for me. I know, right? Yeah. I want to tell you about something really cool happening. Oklahoma Native Marine Captain William Brown, a team leader of the Firepower Control Team in Kandahar, is working with other soldiers on a really important training program right now. The training involves Apache and Warrior helicopters from the TF Tiger Shark and Marine Corps Fire Support Team who are with the Georgian Special Mountain Battalion. Yeah, they're focusing on the, the joint forces and a mission to call for air support in certain scenarios. And they put a lot of work, a lot of practice into it. It's just another way Oklahomans are working really hard for our country. You can learn more about them or see the video on the website on your screen, dvidshub.net. It's great to support and salute these fantastic Oklahomans, right, yeah. and all the great work that they do. Yep. Well, don't forget, we got to thank KSBI's live coverage just being enhanced by Pioneer Southern 4G LTE Network. They're fantastic people, yep. and we love them for supporting our show as well. That's right. Well, we got to throw it over to the uh, stage one more time. Thank you, everybody, for watching. We'll have a great show tomorrow as well. We'll see you at 4 tomorrow, but once again, here's one more performance from the Indigos. Oh.